Weedman in the white trunks with the black trim. Hahn in the black trunks. There's the clinch. That's exactly what I was talking about. Brent Weedman initiating the clinch. He said, he, I, want to, I want Rickon to feel how much bigger and stronger I am, but Judo Olympians, they're strong in the clinch. I don't care what weight class they're in. Just like that. He's been trying to get to his feet. Hahn allows him to stand, Jimmy. It's a little surprising. He had a lot of success on top, on the ground in their first fight. Rick Hahn, when he's on his feet, likes to punch more than he likes to, clip, to, to kick. Likes to sit into his punches, really throw that overhand right. Faint on the Superman punch from Weedman. Two very intelligent, very tactical, very methodical at times fighters. Oh, so I can kill his left hand. That hurt him. Weedman already in trouble. This time, Rickon diving right in. Close tight guard from Weedman, playing all defense now. The counter punch off of the Weedman kick. If you are in range against Rick Hahn, he will throw. You can't be in range without throwing first. Brent Weedman, a black belt. Outstanding grand game. I've rolled with him before. Very smooth with his jiu-jitsu, but it's hard to catch Rick Hahn from your back. Two left hands from Hahn. MMA fighters out of judo, Jimmy, they always have that great base. Great base, very hard to catch, good posture. Let's improve, gentlemen, let's improve. You heard Rob Hines telling both fighters to improve the position, meaning get to work. Even rubber guard walking his legs up. Rubber guard always has that back door. On being cautious allows Weedman to stand. Footwork standing in front of Rick Hahn again. You have to do more than go forward and back against Rick Hahn. He just hits too hard. Faints again on the Superman punch from Weedman. It's the second time he's faded that Superman punch and brings him into punching range without throwing it. Big mistake. Forty-five remaining round number one of this welterweight tournament semifinal. Dan from Weedman. Faint by Hahn. Weedman has yet to get the respect of Rick Hahn. Rick, Rick Hahn right now very confident with his boxing. from Weedman. A lot of footwork, a lot of head movement, Jimmy, from Rick Hahn. Side kick from Weedman lands on the knee. And he's always tight with his hands, no big mistakes. Always keeps that right hand right by his chin. Fundamentally sound. with that uppercut. We've been yet to really find his offensive rhythm. See, they're walking in, closing that range, but caught the clinch again. Knee from Weedman trying to turn Hahn, and he does. Weedman said he wanted to be in the clinch. Hahn said he wanted Weedman to come in. That's the bell the end of round one. In their first fight. Kick by Weedman. 
He's not really established his kicks here in round run number two as we enter this fight. Rather enter this round through round one, Jimmy, on your scorecard, which is brought to you by Polaris Razor, delivering the ultimate combination of power, suspension, and agility. 10-9, Rick Hahn based on that boxing. Landed some good shots. He's continuing to do it in this second round. We've been now coming forward. Like kick from Hahn. Jimmy, you said it in round one, Han, much more of a puncher than a kicker. And Weedman has a wide variety of skills. He can do a lot of things, but he likes a brawl. He likes a fight. He likes waiting and mixing it up, and that's just not a good strategy against Rick Han. He needs to fight from the outside and has not been doing that so far in this fight. One minute gone, round number two of this welterweight tournament semifinal, and this round is brought to you by Punishment Athletics. Northern judo players bring into the cage great balance. This Han is showing right there, literally hopping away. Short left on the inside by Han. Punching range and not punching. Rick Hans been getting on first with the hands. He's been starting to try to be a bit busier with his kicks. Well, he has a one inch reach advantage, but not throwing the jab, not keeping it in Hans' face, not disrupting his timing with those rangy tools like his kicks and his jab. Next Friday night, lightweight tournament semifinal, the rematch of Watt versus Brooks, 9 p.m. Eastern time, right here on Spike. to the clinch. How ironic it's a judo Olympian Rick Hahn who wants to keep the distance and it's weak. Oh, good uppercut. That hurt him. He wants the clinch. That uppercut popped him right on the chin.